Alright, we're fixing to take a tour of my buddy's Grey Wolf 26 MBRR. It's a 2020 toy hauler. He actually hauls this boat around with him in the back of the toy hauler. We're going to do a tour of this thing. Check out all the little simple mods that they do, some improvements from you know the standard factory, and stick around to the very end because he has one of the coolest little toy gadgets um, that I've ever seen. And we're gonna go ahead and show you that thing at the end of this video. So stick around. So where do you want to start, Amy? Well, why don't we start with the end and work our way forward? Okay. One of the first things we did, so um, made my life a little easier. These used to like just have nothing to support them. So right. you'd go in to reach for something and I would always get bonked on the head. So we put in these simple um, hinges. Yep. So it pops up and stays, goes back down makes getting to the bar easier and because the back of uh, this toy hauler the back of it is just basically a velcroed vinyl and screen right to keep our dog from sneaking out off the deck right use some pvc pipe um, some longer pieces on the bottom to go against the wall decided to get a little more supportive with some extra bungee cords and of course, I made him paint it blue to match everything that I liked. Okay. And that keeps the dog in this section that, on our side. That is the dog fence, and it's not $250 to get that length. Right. It comes apart into two pieces. I'm not spending $300 to keep our dog in. Right, right. So um, this is a toy hauler. So when you're traveling, this whole, yeah, this whole area back here, that table is removed, the, the seats fold up, and then this is where you, where you bring your, your little motorcycles or you actually bring the boat in here yep, and haul the boat. Yeah, you can get ATV in, technically three motorcycles. If you got big bags, a little less. Yeah, and then and you got your tie downs. All throughout the floor, you've got these tie downs. Yep. Put your ratchet straps in. Now for me, for my storage and needs, instead of putting up a table here to have the extra counter space, campers really don't come with a lot. We were able to, right on the wheel, wheel well, put in sort of a bookcase, and it's got an extra um, ledge here. Keeps my stuff from popping out and moving around during travel. Mm -hmm. But right. that's where my blender and crock pot and coffee pot all live safely. Another oh. great thing, I did a little research before we even took delivery on this, so I had a list of things I wanted changed before we even had it. So these drawers, come from the dealer as one big deep drawer. Mm -hmm. Kind of useless, you have to dig around for everything all the time. So we cut out the back, added some sliders, and Perfect. did this. I cut down a cutlery tray, made it fit, got pens and spare stuff up there. My yeah. silverware fits nicely. Same thing on the bottom. Things would get lost. You'd be digging forever. Yeah. Made a nice little tray for my knives. I can Store. see that you've cut out the back right here. Yeah. Can you see back yeah, there? Yeah. You, you cut out the, the back of this box and then put another shelf in. And then yeah. that created an extra box. Put yeah. slides on it. And you can actually go ahead and open that up and then just shove the whole thing in. Yep. With a camper like this, because it's meant for travel, not for parking and staying seasonal somewhere, is cabinet space. Can't be making cabinets if you want to pull your toys in. Now normally this big deep closet is just one one open space. Mm -hmm. Went in, made shelvings, got a stain that kind of matched. Now I have all kinds of levels of storage space instead of one big open empty area. Mm -hmm. Much. Now those lights, those lights just came oh, on. Sorry. Are they, they, are they battery powered motion sensor lights? They do have batteries in them. They okay. are motion detector. So now they'll go off. I'll open it. They come on. And now I can even see what I have going on in there. That I just added those 
last month. I right. love them. And I like the motion sensor part because you don't have to worry about turning them off. They're going to go off. Right. There. And they're sensor bright from Amazon, I believe. Okay. We'll put a link down below. And then come on into our bedroom. One of the things I did just for my convenience, a couple 3M hooks here on the inside, store my camper keys there. When I get home and look for them, I know where they are. Right. All good little USB powered fan right on me at night. Nice little extra breeze. Yep. In here, we also had a big empty space. You had this little closet pull. That's all you had for storage. Put in shelves. Mm -hmm. Now, if you notice, this shelf is shorter. Mm -hmm. And that way, I take my bins out. And then, can you see in here? Mm -hmm. It's a fake bottom. Now, motorcycle boots, rain boots, rain jacket, umbrellas, sneakers, mm -hmm. my helmet when I have it with me all fit in there, covered up. And that's another one of those motion, battery powered uh, yep, motion lights. Another one here. And Love now those. I'm going to get myself a couple more so I can see the top. And I'll be nice and do the same thing for my husband because I didn't get him any. <laughs> so... For storage in this camper, because we only have one access unit on the outside, they gave you a nice bit of storage under the bed. You pick this up mm -hmm. and it weighed a lot and you had to try to hold it and reach in for things. Right. Again, very awkward situation. Put in some nice um, Little hydraulic. hydraulic lifts. Right. Super easy to open. It stays open. I can get so much stuff in there. All the outside tables and beach chairs. They all go under there. Meanwhile, my vacuum lives in there. Yep. We're good. So to push it down, two hands, light push. We're all done with nice. that. Nice. That's nice. And one of the other things that we did here in the bedroom was change out the mattress. If you've ever talked to anyone who gets a basic mattress with their new camper. You hear it's like sleeping on the plywood um, and just you're never gonna wanna do it more than once. So we went ahead and got this nice mattress. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it better than our mattress at home at this point. It fits perfect. Our bed is a queen short. It comes in different sizes. And this one is the Xena's 10 inch green tea memory foam mattress. Um, it's a bed in the box, takes a couple hours to expand. And you got that it's, on Amazon? Got it on Amazon. There'll it's, be a link below for that if you guys want to get one of these, check those out. Yep. And your hips don't hurt, your shoulders won't hurt, it's pressure relieving. And you did all the research on this thing before you bought I did a lot of research to find the brand, the type of mattress. It's amazing. I love, I would get this for my home. Okay. Best mattress ever. So another thing that happens with campers is you find out that almost every camper, any campground, has basically like one of six keys, no matter the brand. We worked with a company, RV Lock, our two doors now have these keypads on them. I can set my own four digit combination, unlock the door, lock the door, <laughs> gets me right in. So along with the key and the combo, it comes with a key fob. So all you have to do is lock it, unlock it with the press of a button. Okay. So you've got your key fob, your combination pad, or a traditional key. Yeah. So when you get the new key sets for that, you can also have the storage compartments keyed the same. Okay. So one key, we get into all the major areas not fumbling around with six different keys. Another security issue at some campground is your expensive batteries being appropriated when you're not watching or your propane takes walking off on a trip. You've got this Kevlar ratchet strap that locks in. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna cut that. And open up your propane cover. Normally that you lift it off tanks are gone, couple screws of this. Went ahead, manufactured our own little piece of metal here. 
this little piece here. Yep, just two brackets with the, yep. the master locks. Added and, some master locks. And that won't, Those aren't going to go that. anywhere. Yep. I think that you guys are going to go ahead and talk about um, yeah, some the, of the uh, creations we've gotten. Yeah, the, the stabilizers, which are really cool. And uh, we'll go through the stabilizers here in the next video because those these things deserve a video of their own also with this camper this uh this little i think it's like a 65 aluminum starcraft boat fits in the back of the toy hauler so that thing's great to be able to bring a boat in the toy hauler all right, this is this is one of my favorite gadgets that that Rob and Amy got. I've never seen this before, and uh, he showed me, and I gave it a shot. It's a wood splitter, and this thing comes. You can get these on Amazon. It's like a steel wood splitter. It comes in two different sizes. I believe this is the six inch size, a six a six inch and an eight inch wood splitter, and this thing is awesome for just making kindling. So you just drop your wood in, get a mallet. Instead of slicing your hand with your hatchet, this thing is so much fun. You can just cut slivers of wood with this. They like say there's going to be a link down below for this thing. This little steel wood splitter, it's a must have. It's the only time, it's the first time I've ever seen this. He said he's seen a friend that had it and he had to have one. So looks like you have to have one now. So, from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.